Thank you so much, uh, Deacon Harold Brooks Sivers. Powerful, powerful talk there. Uh, God bless you. God has blessed you immensely with the ability to really preach the word. So we appreciate so much you being part of this uh, 2020 Catholic Brothers for Christ Virtual Men's Conference. And uh, just uh, want to reiterate, uh, that is Jesus behind Deacon Harold Brooks Sivers. If you're able to watch us on YouTube and Facebook, he is live this morning from Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish in Portland, Oregon. Thank you for that reflection, the rosary, and also um, also a deeper look at Luke 22. Deacon Harold Brooks Sivers, thank you very much, and thank you for being part of the conference this morning. We are going to wrap things up now, and just a reminder, this is the 2020 Catholic Brothers for Christ Virtual Men's Conference. Many of you are watching it on YouTube and Facebook at catholicbrothersforchrist.com. This will be available as a podcast uh, on there, I know, so make sure you tell uh, your friends and your, your brothers and your fathers and anybody you know, male, female, anybody, to go back and watch this. We want to continue to, to let Deacon Harold Brooks Sivers feed people for many weeks and months to come. The theme is Come to the Table Where Great Grace begins, and we are here in the KTH 910 AM studio, and I just want to wrap things up here. I'm here with the leadership team of the Catholic Brothers for Christ. Uh, my name is Dave Palmer. I'm with Guadalupe Radio Network and also a, uh, an honorary Brothers for Christ, serving as MC of the event today. Jeremy Stevens is chairman for the 2020 Men's Conference. Rick Self is president of the Catholic Brothers for Christ. We also have Bob Duane in studio here. Uh, he is vice president of the Catholic Brothers for Christ, and Ralph Zerinsky is our videographer. Uh, photographer and webmaster and we are broadcasting live here on KTH 910 AM uh, as well so uh, Deacon Harold I know that people can find you online at DeaconHerald.com and also on the radio every morning 6 o'clock central time with Morning Glory that's right Dave you know we uh, heard earlier about uh, uh, in Luke Luke 22 but a little bit earlier than that we hear about the uh, persistent widow in Luke 18 or the neighbor knocking on the door back in uh, Luke 11 and so we're going to be persistent as well we're going to go back and we're going to have this conference that we were talking about doing we've got Father Larry Richards we've got Boss Rutten we've got Mark Men for Christ we've got the people coming from uh, the Pines Catholic camp all going to be back together up in Frisco at St. Francis of Assisi April 10th 2021. So mark your calendars now. We already have registration open for both of our events right now on our website. So, you know, uh, it's it's time to rejoice in hope, endure in affliction, and persevere in prayer because we're going to be back together again live soon. Amen. Praise God. Bob Duane is Vice President of the Catholic Brothers for Christ. And uh, Bob, this is a t uh, challenging time for everybody, but it's also a time where we hear a lot of beautiful stories about opportunities and things that people are doing to give back. And that certainly applies to the Catholic Brothers for Christ, doesn't it? It does. And thank you very much, Dave. We, we want to ask you, if you've been blessed during this time, to please support your parish, support the food bank, support uh, Catholic charities both in Dallas and Fort Worth and everywhere. Uh, we have been blessed through Catholic Brothers for Christ. Any money that's been given to us, we give back to charities that support Catholic uh, youth, Catholic uh, missions, uh, pregnancy, everything. But uh, uh, it's important. You can go to our website. You can hit uh, the donation button there. If you've been blessed during this time, please give back. And here's a slide showing that over the last three years we've raised and given out over $80,000 uh, to some of the... These are just a few of the... Uh, uh, people that we've supported because you've supported us. So God bless you. We ask you to do that. We also go ask you to uh, keep everyone in prayer, all the people of these and and uh, everyone during this coronavirus time. All right. Thanks, Bob. And first of all, I want to thank you guys. I mean, you guys made this happen in a couple of weeks. Uh, we asked you if it's possible to do. You guys stepped up to the plate. Dave, Diane, uh, Cecil, uh, Joe McLean down in <laughs> Houston who who was on the phone with us uh, hooking all this up. He's the one who provided all this YouTube coverage and uh, Facebook coverage. So thank you, Joe. Uh, just the whole staff here was unbelievable. I wanna thank um, some of our sponsors who helped us put this on. You know, we wanted to keep this free. We didn't want any anybody to have an excuse not to come to this conference today. So, uh, but we had a couple of groups step up. Good Shepherd Men's Club donated money for this event, as well as the uh, St. Marie Council 6065 Knights of Columbus, St. Mark and Plano. They also donated for today and some other people as well. And I also want to uh, highlight one of our vendors that has come to our conference every year, Suma Enterprises. They've been coming to our conference for the last probably eight years. 
And with all the conferences not happening live this year, they their business is off, obviously. Everybody's business is off. But they are struggling, so they, we, we just wanted to highlight them. You guys can support them. Also, pray for John, uh, the owner, who's who's going through some cancer right now. Just pray for his healing and his comfort. So I just wanted to bring that up as well. Uh, finally, uh, again, I want to thank my team, uh, Jeremy, who did a lot of the legwork for this, uh, Bob, uh, Bill Kular, marketing guy who got it all on Facebook and, and us marketed around all the different platforms, uh, Michael O'Rourke for getting with, uh, with Deacon Harold Burke at the last uh, minute to get him as a speaker, and, and just all of our team, Ralph for coming today with his mask on, staying social distancing <laughs> while he, he camera he does the camera work for our for our video today. Um, one other thing, I want to recognize Third Millennium. Uh, that is the company. Nick Scott, he's the one who got us Deacon Harold in in a two week time frame. So he went out of his way to make sure it got done and uh, uh, worked with the Archdiocese of Portland to get all the paperwork that we needed to get this done. So thank you, Nick, and your team, and uh, please support those guys. So. Also, I just want to wrap up with what I want to say to the guys. Guys, this is a trying time. This is not easy to do. We're in a virtual world right now, but it's not a time to, to let it go. It's a time to just create new habits, to create uh, you know new prayer time. Read the Bible with your family, like Deacon said. This, you should, there's no excuse not to pray with your wife or your, your kids. Read the real Bible, though. Get a real Bible out. I heard this from Jeff Cavins. He said, don't use your phone. Use the real, like <laughs> like uh, Father Larry tells us as well. Um, so read the real Bible. Be the calming influence in your family. Mm -hmm. they need, that's what they're looking for right now. They're looking for us to be that calm in the storm. Because uh, if we're all panicked, if we're all worried about it, they're going to be on edge as well. So, so be calming and be the light. Be the positive light. We're going to come out of this. Uh, we've always had, if you have the faith, that you, we're going to come out. So, um, And finally, I uh, heard this from Robert Tomei, and I just want to repeat it because I love it. He says, if you fix the man, you fix the family. If you fix the family, you fix the church. If you fix the church, you fix society. And if you fix society, you fix the world. Mm. So that's what this is all about. You know, Not to put pressure on you, man, but this is all about us to be the leaders in our homes right now. So. Yeah, if it's it's not about the conference. It's it's about a movement. You know, we want men to be disciples of Christ. Our uh, we mentioned uh, the Catholic Men's Leadership Alliance. Deacon Harold Burke Sivers is on the board and the founding directors of those. And it's about getting a million men together across the various dioceses every week in their parish, or at least virtually right now. And we'll help you with that if you need to. So reach out to us online there at CatholicBrothersForChrist.com. Uh, we got many other different ways we're getting together, including uh, Rise. The Rise Challenge has given us a discount, so go out. We'll start that on May 1st. It's all on the website there. We've got a couple of other different ways that you can get together in contact with us. Don't forget, also, we do have that wonderful special T-shirt because we know how the guys love the T-shirts from the conference. So we've got that T-shirt out there today. There's some great podcasts out there that the guys can listen to, uh, you know, like uh, Just the Guy in a Pew or Tuning In, of course. To the radio station. Yeah, right the radio. Shows. Yeah, there are some. I, I have about 10 here listed. I'll give you a few of them. Uh, if you like the, the kind of intellectual uh, stuff, uh, Father Robert Spitzer is just amazing. He has a show called Father Robert Spitzer, Spitzer's Universe, uh, Sundays at 11. Bear Wozniak, the Bear Wozniak Adventure. If you like adventure and you like to get out there and kind of uh, extreme Catholicism, that's Saturdays uh, today at 5 o'clock. And, uh, you know, we have the rosary every day at 8.30 p.m., but I want to challenge the men. We also play it at 4.30 in the morning, okay? So why not get up at 4.30 in the morning every now and then? Also, Fathers Know Best, 3 o'clock in the morning. So no, I'm, I'm half joking, but we got great programming for men, women, all ages uh, throughout the work week. And so uh, just keep uh, listening, and we appreciate all the support of the Guadalupe Radio Network as well. Yeah, that's it. I mean, our event's ended now, so go forth and make disciples of Christ in your sphere of influence, whether that's virtually right now or in the real world soon. All right. Uh, so thank you so much. It's